Hi everyone, welcome back to CLM Online and the course How to Approach the New Testament. We begin week one with the question, why Greek? The rise of the Greek language and the coming of the Messiah. Why the original language matters. There are a number of reasons why it matters that we have some understanding of the original language of the New Testament. The first reason is hermeneutical. Now that may be a new word to you, but hermeneutic, or it may not, hermeneutics can have a broader philosophical meaning, but in our focused context, it is the science of the interpretation of texts. In the child's game of telephone, uh, some call it um, Chinese whispers, one person whispers a word or a phrase in the ear of the person next to him or her, that person does the same, and the whole process keeps repeating until the last person receives the whispered message and speaks it out loud. The fun happens when it becomes clear just how twisted up and confused the original message became. The only way to determine what the original message was is to consult with the original message giver. Only he or she knows for sure what it was. Now, some of the things that can cause the original message to be distorted might be that the word or phrase when it was given was mumbled or hard to understand. The receiver of the mumbled message, having no choice but to whisper something to the next person in the circle, is forced to choose a logical word that seems to complete the message. It's also possible that somewhere down the line, someone could choose to purposely twist the message by whispering something completely different than uh, what was given to them. Perhaps the message was given very clearly, but the listener simply was tired or distracted. In any case, even in a group of people completely committed to speaking clearly and listening closely, Human error will see to it that the message gets skewed, and even more so, uh, the more people that are involved. Now, if we applied this idea to the extreme as it pertains to the New Testament, we might picture ourselves praying and uh, asking God to redictate the Word of God to us so that we can be sure of its veracity. In fact, some have made claims to receiving new revelation, such as Joseph B. Smith, the founder uh, of the Mormon uh, religion. Short of that, the logical question is, who were the original message givers of the New Testament? And why should we trust their message? In a very similar way, the text of the New Testament has been whispered from generation to generation. And there are evidences of mistakes in some manuscripts. Later, we will learn more about some of the ways the transmission of the New Testament has survived various telephone game mistakes. But for now, the important question is, how can we tell if the message that has come to us through the Bible, which has been translated into our language, for most taking this class, that language is English, how can we be sure it is accurate? The answer has everything to do with going back as nearly as possible to what are referred to as the original autographs. Later, we will want to ask just how far can we go back? That is, how close can we get to the original autographs of the New Testament?